Let's try to find some answers to the questions that really mean something to you. One of the biggest questions is, how do I get what I want? I'm going to give you four steps to getting what you want. Okay, step one, be specific about what you want. Be really clear about what you want. Don't generalize. Don't throw out general terms that the universe can't speak to. Be very specific and make sure you know what it is that you want. Second step, very simple. For two weeks, for the next two weeks, if there's something you really want, something you really need, Every conversation you start throughout your day and throughout your travels, you need to start with that. So if you're at the supermarket and they say, hi, may I help you? You say, well, I really need a new car, but I'd like to buy these groceries. I'm not kidding. You go to the laundromat, the laundry, and they say, uh, do you have your ticket? You say, well, I need a new car, but I do have my ticket. Love to put my laundry into a new car. Here's what's going to happen. I know it sounds silly, but if you keep putting out to the universe what it is you want, something happens, things start to flow, people start to hear. Maybe the person at the laundry has a brother-in-law who runs a used car lot and they have a flash sale on some stuff. Maybe the person you standing in line behind you at the supermarket has too, too many cars and wants to get rid of one and will give one to you. I know it sounds fantastic, but the more you put out in the universe the need, the thing you are looking for, the more you bring it to you. Don't say, I want it, because want means I lack, and want, and then that becomes your reality, what you lack. You say, I am looking for a new car. That new car is already on its way to you. The third thing, you have to not misunderstand our vocabulary. You got to understand the word no. No doesn't mean you can't have what you want. In fact, in sales, they say it takes six to stick. I mean, you got to ask for it six times before a customer actually comes through with what you want. I'm going to say it's three. There are three no's. The first no is just a reflex. You ask me, can I borrow $5? I say, no. Nah. I even go like this, like I, mm, like that means anything. When there's actually money in my pocket, what am I doing? What does that mean? So the first no is a reflex. The second no is an excuse. Well, I don't have any change right now, etc. So the third no is the only no that I really mean. Most people don't want to say no to you three times. Now, here's the fourth and final thing. You have to justify why what you want is a positive exchange. Why you deserve it and why you having it is good for the giver why it's good for the universe, why it's good for the planet, why it's good for the community, why it's good for the person opposite you. If you can tell me why, me allowing you to have the thing you need, the thing you're asking for, is good for everybody, that's a no-brainer. Because a lot of times, even if it's not good, I'd rather say yes to you than say no. But if it's a good exchange, if there's something in it for the world and for me, I want you to have it. So, be specific. Put the word out everywhere you go. Start every conversation with the request for what you're looking for. Don't allow the first no or a none response to be the stopper. Be willing to go further and make it clear why you need this thing. And most, and finally, not most importantly, equally importantly, make sure that you can articulate why it's a good exchange why you should have what you want. Do it for two weeks. Figure out something that you really could use in your life. Follow these four steps and hit me back on Instagram or Facebook or Twitter or YouTube and let me know how it went because I believe what you want is coming to you as we speak. I'm Stuart Kay. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah.